Uh, my name is Sandra Fauconnier. On Wikipedia, I'm user spinster. Uh, I'm a long time Wikipedian. I've been wi writing Wikipedia since 2003, so that's more than 10 years. And this year, I'm a Wikipedian in residence for the uh, Foundation for Academic Heritage in the Netherlands. And I'm now at Wikimania. And I'm going to read the article about Paul Otlet, O-T-L-E-T, -E because it's a hero of mine. Um, the page has some issues. It has, doesn't have sufficient inline citations, so bear that in mind. Um, okay, I'm going to start. Paul-Marie Guillain Otlet, Otlet uh, was born on 23rd of August 1868 and he died on the 10th December of 1944. He was a Belgian author, entrepreneur, visionary, lawyer and peace activist. He is one of several people who have been considered the father of information science, a field he called documentation. Otlet created the Universal Decimal Classification, one of the most prominent examples of faceted classification. Otlet was responsible for the widespread adoption in Europe of the standard American 3x5-inch index card used until recently in most library catalogs around the world, by now largely displaced by the advent of the online public access catalog or the OPEC. Yeah, it's a bit geeky for librarians. Otlet wrote numerous essays on how to collect and organize the world's knowledge, culminating in two books, the Traité de Documentation in 1934, and Monde, Essay d'Universalisme in 1935. In 1907, following a huge international conference, Otlet and Henri Lafontaine created the Central Office of International Associations, which was renamed to the Union of International Associations in 1910, and which is still located in Brussels. They also created a great international center, called at first Palais Mondial, or the World Palace, later the Mundaneum, to house the collections and activities of their various organizations and institutes. Otlet and Lafontaine were peace activists who endorsed the international politics of the League of, of Nations, uh, sorry, the internationalist, internationalist politics of the League of Nations and its International Institute of Intellectual Co Cooperation, which was the forerunner of UNESCO. Otlet and Lafontaine witnessed an unpre unprecedented proliferation of information resulting in the creation of new kinds of international organization. They saw in this organization an emerging, emerging global polity and wished to help solidify it. Citation is needed here. La Fontaine won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1913. So this was the introduction and then the article, article goes on to elaborate on all these points.